What's up champions? Today we are super excited because we are going to finally unbox and test the new version of Flightboard eFoil. If you don't know what Flightboard is, make sure to check out our video from last year where we met the developers from Australia and checked out this amazing board. And if you want to get one, make sure to contact Wayne from Jetboard Limited. I'll put the links down below. Alright, without further ado, let's unbox these two giant boxes. Let's go! All right, let's get to it. Open up the first box. Wow, it's so big. Does it really fly? Yeah, it goes up and then you can foil and glide along the surface. Let's open up and see what's inside. You mean I can go also on it one day? One day. <laughs> Take some practice. Wow. So cool. Check how heavy is it? Not too heavy. Yeah, it's all right. Maybe about 10 kilograms. You mean it can fly and go into the water? Yeah. First how you start gliding and then you foil and you lift up and you fly. How high can it go? Well, about 60 centimeters. That's that's the size of a house. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In the first bag we got the board and we got the board bag. Let's open up the second one. Yay! She was here. Ooh. Ooh, so much stuff actually. <laughs> <laughs> Let's wow. see what we got here. Um, I think this is when it's in the water, it starts with lifting. You put it under the board, you put it in the water, and then it starts lifting you up. I think it's like that. Yeah, it's a mast. And this one. And the foil. Alright, let's open up and check it out. We got the foil. And the second wing. Okay. We got this bag. Is it heavy? No. no. Some accessories. Yeah, instructions, some spare parts. I think it's in a strong sense. So inside this bag we got the flight board remote control, some tools, corrosion illuminator, the charger for the remote control, and some spare parts, rubber, and some screws. All right, let's get to the fun part. Okay. And that's the main mast. Is it heavy? No. Huh? Not so heavy. But it's sharp. Yeah, and the engine. Mm -hmm. Looks cool. I like the protection from the from the engine. And I really like I really like this um, type of idea because it can fly and it's like people can fly. I always try flying like with my hands when I jump. And finally the main charger. Yeah, that is really really heavy. And in the whole box like that, but it can't be. It looks like if you put here a plate, then you make pancakes on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. So guys, we have this smaller box, and I think it's not that heavy, but it might be. Yeah, inside we have the battery. Remember, everything comes separately from different places. Wow, it's so cool. Yeah well made. I like the quality so far. The finish is very high quality. Heavy. Oh. Is that that's heavy. Not even a charger? Yeah, About 15 kilograms. Yeah, quite heavy. So what's left now is to read the instructions to charge everything up and then we're ready to fly. Yay! High five! Wow. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
your pole, try to jump as far as you can from the foil. And then qu swim quickly, don't lose your board. So, there you have it guys, flight board. No noise, no wake, just silent cruising and enjoyment. And don't trust anybody saying that it gets old with time. It's like a bicycle, it never gets old. Oh guys, this is such an amazing experience. We are having uh, the time of our life in the middle of the Paradise Lake. <laughs> It's such a great family time. <laughs> Let's go. And now a quick summary of what I love about the foils and what I hate about it. I love everything when it comes down to water. Its silent, smooth riding gives you incredible feeling of flying. And it's very easy to learn thanks to its cruise control features of this board. And you can do so much more than just going straight, you can do carving and even jumping and some tricks. And what I hate about it is everything when it comes down to the ground. It's very hard to transport, it's very heavy, bulky and cumbersome. But what's even worse, it's very sharp, especially the back of the mast and the back of the foil. That's why I have to wear the helmet, full body wetsuit, the booties and even gloves on such a hot day. But all in all guys, it's an incredible next generation product that everybody should try and it will definitely put a smile on your face. That's all for today guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what you think about the new trend of electric hydrofoils. And don't forget to check out my next video where I'm going to share with you the tips and tricks on how you can improve your experience with electric hydrofoils. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers!